Hey lovelies, welcome and welcome back to my channel. First, before I say anything, I just wanna say Happy New Year. I hope we've all set our goals for 2023 and I hope we get whatever we need to accomplish those goals. Today's video, I am doing um, an easy gel polish design on my dominant and non-dominant hand. So in this video, I will be going back and forth and I just picked a really simple design if we're being honest, one of my favorite nail looks is a brownish kind of nude with black gel polish or black polish, um, some sort of design. That's one of my favorites and it's kind of one of my go-tos. I do do my nails sometimes off camera doing this design and because it's something that I like to do a lot, I don't always film it. But today I just wanted to film it because I want it to show that if you pick a simple enough design, you can get that design on both hands if you're doing your nails yourself. The most important thing is just, there's two things that are important. Have yourself a cleanup brush, which you will see me use in this video, and just take your time. It took me about an hour to do both hands. And like I said, it is a simple design, but it did take a while because I just really took my time with it. And, um, I had already did the nails. I had already had the nails on. Um, they were already filed and shaped. So all I had to do this particular day where, when I decided to film was just the design. So I just took my time with it and I think it came out really, really neat. Um, it came out crisp and I really like how the design turned out. Uh, I don't have any other tips other than that. Have your cleanup brush and take your time and don't be too hard on yourself if you don't get it the first time. One of the reasons I like working with gel polish is if it doesn't look right, just spray that nail with some alcohol and just start over. Um, so if you don't cure it, then you can just fix it. So just be easy on yourself and take your time. All I'm using for this um, design is black gel polish and a liner brush. The black gel polish is from Eden's Rose and the liner brush is from Beatles. So um, I believe the brushes are in my Amazon storefront and I will add um, the link to the gel polish in the description box below. As always, if I have any discount codes or sales or anything like that, it will be in the description box below. So definitely check that out if you are looking to purchase products and then you know on a budget, what have you. So always check out my description box for information. Also, I do have an Instagram um, called Be Your Own Nail Tech, which I'll link in the description box below. On that Instagram, I feature deals um, that I come across on Amazon from products that I've used and or brands that I've used. And on that Instagram as well, I feature sales um, from brands that I've used as well um, directly on their website. So check out that Instagram as well. And let me know definitely um, what you guys think of this design. So I'm right-handed. So using my left hand now, it's, it's a little tricky. Sometimes I have to stabilize my hand. I have to sit my finger on something. And other times I don't. This design, it's a lot of just, it's mostly straight lines. So like I said, I picked an easy design, but let me know what you guys think um, in the description box below. What challenges do you have when you are working on your dominant hand? Let me know um, what tips and tricks you have. Um, they may help somebody else out in the comments um, below. But I'll let you guys watch the rest of this design and play some music in the background and I'll be back in a moment.
Okay, I'm not sure if anyone else's faces this problem. Sometimes I think I buff my nails too smooth and um, about 80% of the time I always have my top coat lifting. So, or my top coat will peel away from the nail. So I did see on Young Nails a long, long time ago that they use their protein bond before they do their top coat. So this is my first time trying it. Um, have you guys tried this before? I didn't have a problem with the application of my top coat or anything like that. And off camera, I will say that it did work. I didn't have the peeling of the top coat. The reason I would suggest this is a lot of the top coats, for instance, the one I'm going to use in this video, not polished gloss it, is a little bit thicker. So when you're applying gel polish in that in a thicker layer and the surface isn't really, really rough, you will have um, the polish peeling away. So definitely try using your primer. It doesn't have to be Young Nails, Protein Bond, but definitely try using your prom primer before you top coat if you're... Um, doing a design like this or say you're not even doing a design. So try that, let me know how it works out for you. I think it worked out pretty good for me. Um, after this, I am gonna apply the cuticle oil. You guys, make sure you're rehydrating your skin after you use these um, products because they do have chemicals in them and they are drying. The base of my nails actually is um, poly gel. For this, I did do it off camera. I used Burano's Nude Poly Gel. It's one of my favorite colors. So again, that'll be in the description box below. But like I said, make sure you're using your cuticle oil or some type of oil to replenish your skin after and make sure you're using it daily to keep that cuticle area in your hands, you know, your skin healthy and moisturized. Um, I do have a website, which will be in the description box below if you wanna check out some of my scented oils. But here's the final look. Like I said, this is a simple design. And um, the three tips I have for you as far as working on your, working with your non-dominant hand is take your time, don't be too hard on yourself and have a cleanup brush. And definitely you can get the look you want. You just gotta take your time. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Hopefully this helps. Um, any tips that I may have missed that you have for yourself, definitely leave those for other people in the comments down below. And I appreciate everyone spending their time with me and I will see you guys again soon for another video.